Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Honorable Dr. Josh Green, Governor of our beautiful state of Hawaii, welcome to today's graduation ceremony, at which we will be honoring the graduates of Class 2-4 of the Hawaii National Guard New Challenge Academy Hilo Campus. Setting out on its mission to intervene in and reclaim the lives of 16 to 18 year old high school dropouts, producing program graduates with the values, skills, education, and self-discipline necessary to succeed as adults. The National Guard Youth Challenge Program is recognized as America's premier program serving at promise youth. Administered by the United States Department of Defense and implemented by the National Guard Bureau, the National Guard Youth Challenge Program has graduated over 100,000 cadets since 1993. In 1994, Hawaii set out to serve the youth by opening the first academy on the island of Oahu at Barbers Point. Through the efforts of the National Guard Bureau, Assistant Secretary of Defense, Reserve, Reserve Affairs, State Governor, and Adjutant General, a second academy opened its doors in 2011 on the island of Hawaii. The Hilo Campus, one of 42 challenge programs throughout the United States and Puerto Rico, continues the tradition of carrying out the mission to provide participants with life skills so that they can become successful, productive, and responsible citizens. Today, the Hawaii National Guard Youth Challenge Academy Hilo Campus will be graduating its 24th class of cadets. As graduates, their journey will continue as some of them will move on to higher education and vocational technical and academic disciplines. Others will return to their communities and enter the workforce. For several, their decision will be to protect our freedom by serving in the military. To everyone that has supported the efforts of the Academy and its staff, the success and evidence of your belief in the vision of all challenge programs are right here in front of you, Class 2-4. At this time, I would like to take a moment to recognize our distinguished guests. Please hold your applause until all names have been announced. Thank you. Brigadier General Retired, Bruce Oliveira, State of Hawaii, Civil Military Programs Director. Mr. Keldon Walton. Hawaii County Prosecuting Attorney. Mr. Chad Okinaka, Vice Principal, Waipahu Community School for Adults, Hilo Campus. Ms. Kukule Kekueva, Director, Hawaii National Guard, New Challenge Academy, Hilo Campus. Ms. Kaipua Ala Lewis, Deputy Director, Hawaii National Guard, New Challenge Academy, Hilo Campus.
Today, we express our gratitude for our sister state department programs and their leaders, especially our partners from the Department of Education and the Hawaii State Judiciary, members of the clergy, community leaders, and organizations that serve our community. Members of the Armed Forces, Active, Reserve, and Guard, thank all and all the veterans who have served this great country of ours. Thank you. Mahalo to our mentors who will report on the progress of their cadets for the next 12 months. We thank you for your willingness and commitment to our cadets. 22 weeks, 155 days, or 3,720 hours ago today, you parents and guardians left your sons and daughters as candidates. With this next special group of individuals, these men and women have motivated, encouraged, counseled, mentored, listened to, agreed, disagreed, instructed, inspected, disciplined, supervised, and most of all, dedicated their hearts, minds, and life stories to your sons and daughters so that they can return to you respectful, mature, responsible, and successful graduates. Please help me recognize the dedicated faculty and staff of the Hawaii National Guard Youth Challenge Academy. <laughs> Aloha, my name is Nelly Tawata, Assistant Mentor Coordinator of the Hawaii National Guard Youth Challenge Academy Hilo Campus. Welcome everyone, I will be your MC this morning. Today, I'd like to recognize a few special guests that are here with us today. Staff Sergeant Prince Leslie. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Cronin. <laughs> Command Sergeant Major Jessica Cho. <laughs> Dan Castle. Staff Sergeant Kevin Antolin. Next we have Major Lisa M. Maylock. We also have from Starbase, Joel Kelly. We have Pastor Smitty Kaleohano. From Penn Fitness, we have Eric Beach. <laughs> Kekoa Kekueva. <laughs> Coach Casey. <laughs> Kyle Funk. <laughs> and Kelly Stillman. We also have Ms. Lorraine Inoy. <laughs> Rhea Lee Moku. <laughs> Sue Liloy. <laughs> and Colonel Retired Deb Lewis from the Veterans of Foreign Wars. faithfully and continually supports the program and the academy are our congressional leaders. We will now hear their messages of congratulations. Our first message is from U.S. Senator Maisie Hirono. In honor of the Hawaii National Guard Hilo U Challenge Academy Class 24 graduation, dated December 16, 2022. Aloha and congratulations to Class 24 on their graduation from the Hawaii National Guard U Challenge Academy. Today, we celebrate your dedication and hard work and congratulate you on completing this rigorous program. I hope you take the tools, skills, and knowledge that you have acquired and carried with you into your futures. As you prepare to take your next steps, I encourage you to maintain your connections with each other and continue to engage with your mentors. These relationships may prove to be the very valuable thing in opening doors to new opportunities for you. I am confident you will continue to practice the values you have learned here as you consider your future and as you find ways to strengthen and give back to your communities. 
The journey before you will be challenging, but it will also be rewarding. Young people give me so much hope for the future, and I believe your futures are bright. I look forward to hearing about your many accomplishments. Mahalo to the Youth Challenge Academy leadership and support network for all you have done to help these cadets succeed. To Class 24, congratulations and my best wishes to you. Signed, Maisie K. Kivona. A message from U.S. Senator Brian Schatz. Presented in recognition of Hawaii National Guard Youth Challenge Academy Class 24 graduation ceremony. Dated December 16, 2022. Aloha and welcome to everyone celebrating the graduation of Hawaii National Guard Green Challenge Academy Class 24. Congratulations to graduating cadets in Class 24. This achievement represents your dedication and hard work. The time you spent in Hawaii National Guard Green Challenge Academy has given you the opportunity to, to improve your leadership skills, sense of duty, and professionalism. I hope you condition to use the skills you have gained to help the, those around you and new ways to earn and serve your community. Mahalo to the Hawaii National Guard Youth Challenge Academy for your, for your continued work in preparing our youth for future success. To the families, friends, and mentors of these attendants, your commitment to these cadets have made a real difference in their lives. And then I join you in recognizing and celebrating their accomplishments, best wishes for a memorable ceremony. Mahalo, Brian Schatz, United States Senate. Congress of the United States, House of Representatives. Aloha, I extend my warmest greetings and hearty congratulations to the Hawaii Youth Challenge Academy cadets and your Ohana the occasion of the ceremony to recognize the 24th class to graduate from the Academy of Eagle. The Youth Challenge program empowers participants to embrace responsibility, achievement, and positive behavior. It instills self-confidence, fosters ambition, and increases opportunities through job skills training, service to community, and leadership to our country. Today's class of cadets have met, all, met the challenge and demonstrated the desire to succeed and become our next generation of leaders. Cadets, your commitment to excellence will enable you to achieve great things in this world. I look forward to partnering with you in the future of our country in Hawaii and extend my very best wishes to you for further success in the years ahead. With Aloha, Congressman Ed Case. The Hawaii Island National Guard Youth Challenge Academy, Aloha, on behalf of the people of the county of Hawaii, it is an honor to offer my heartfelt congratulations the Hawaii National Guard Youth Challenge Academy's 24th graduating class on completing your journey of discipline and personal determination. Each of you have worked hard in becoming a valuable and contributing citizen of our community. And this completion of ceremony celebrates the success that you truly deserve and an achievement that you have earned. You can be, you can be Assured that the citizens of Hawaii County are truly proud of you. Best wishes to all of you in your future endeavors. Awarded the 16th day of December 2022, signed Mitchell D. Rock, Mayor. Prosecuting attorney Kelton B. B. Waldron was born and raised on the Hawaii Island. He is a graduate of St. Joseph's School, the University of Hawaii at Hilo the William S. Richardson School of Law at the University of Hawaii at Tunnel. He started his career as a law clerk for Associate Justice Richard W. Pollock at both the Circuit Court of the First Circuit and the Hawaii Supreme Court. Knowing that he wanted to take back to the same community that raised him, Prosecutor Walton accepted a position as a Deputy Prosecuting Attorney in Hilo in 2012. Prosecutor Wolchin has handled felony cases involving illegal narcotics, firearms, homicide, property, and violent crimes, and repeat offenders. Prosecutor, Prosecutor Wolchin was a prior East Hawaii Director of the Hawaii State Bar Association's Young Lawyers Division and previously honored as the Hawaii County's Employee of the Year in 2019. On December 7, 2020, he took office and became the youngest elected prosecutor in Hawaii County in history. 
Please join me in welcoming our keynote speaker, Kelton Walton, Hawaii County Prosecuting Attorney. Ooh. Aloha. Aloha and welcome. This truly is an honor and a privilege to be here today. Welcome distinguished guests, parents, guardians, esteemed faculty and staff, and you, the graduates, class 24 of the Hawaii National Guard Youth Challenge Academy. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Let's give them a round of applause. ago I got a call from Deputy Director Lewis asking if I'd be interested in delivering today's keynote speech and for the celebration of the graduation festivities and you know to be real honest I was kind of caught off guard um, I've never done something like this before and I was pretty nervous you know to come up here today I thought about you know what can I share um, how much of a tremendous responsibility I had today to share with a group of young people on such a momentous occasion, their graduation. But most importantly, I thought, and when we got the call, I said, how long should like me talk? Um, you know, and I thought, and, and the answer I got was, I ah, have five to 10 minutes. And I said, okay, I'll try to keep it under 20. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, when I was in high school, I had a teacher and she always told me, the best things, it's, you know, less is always more. And that's something I try to embrace. So I'll keep it short and sweet, I promise. Believe me, that's a lot to ask from an attorney. We all love to talk. I remember being in the third grade at St. Joseph's School and Sister Pat Raposo scolding me because I was talking story in the back of the class with one of my friends. And she said, hey, motor mouth. Are you talking again? And I said, oh no, sister. I was asking, simply asking, what page of the book you were referring to. She said, sure, sure, sure. You always got an excuse. One day you're gonna be an attorney. Sure enough, 17 years later, I got my law degree and I began practicing law. Well, enough about me. Let's talk about you. Hawaii National Guard Youth Challenge Academy. Dream, believe, achieve. That is the mantra of Youth Challenge. Youth Challenge is the only public residential educational institution on Hawaii Island that works with youth ages 16 through 18. The mission of Youth Challenge is to intervene in, in and reclaim young adults, producing pro program graduates with the values, life skills, education, and self-discipline necessary to succeed as productive citizens. In addition to getting a diploma, graduates are educated, trained in the eight core components of Youth Challenge's foundation. Youth Challenge also benefits our community in a number of ways. Cadets perform tens of thousands of hours of volunteer work providing for, to benefit communities across our island, providing them the opportunity to learn what it is to give back to be public servants and become stewards in our community. I've personally seen and worked alongside cadets volunteering at numerous events in our community, including providing staffing and assistance at our large, pub scale, uh, large public activities, providing, providing and participating in drug and alcohol, alcohol awareness activities, and also conducting area beautification projects across our island. This award-winning program has been recognized as one of the nation's most efficient and cost-effective programs for at-risk youth, as you heard earlier. So leaders, lawmakers, please remember Youth Challenge during state budgetary discussions and in the important role that it plays in the lives of each and every one of these cadets, the staff and fa faculty of the academy, and our community and the communities in which they serve. Youth Challenge will always hold a special place in my heart. I know a number of graduates and some of my closest friends and, and because of some of my closest friends and colleagues have had the honor and privilege of serving on the faculty and staff at the academy right here in Hilo. 
they oftentimes share about their experiences and the rewarding experience of watching their students and graduates share in their successes, their graduation, and in their accomplishments. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to today, your graduation. You all worked very hard. This is a huge accomplishment. You should all be proud of yourselves. You should know that your family, your friends, your teachers, the community are also very proud of you too. Look around you. Remember all of these people in this room. These are the people who love and support you. Remember this moment and remember, graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Some people like to think of graduation as the final chapter in life of their learning. It's not. It's far from that. You never stop learning. Life has many lessons to offer, lots of challenges, lots of trials and tribulations. There will be wins and there's gonna be losses. But as my good friend, retired Deputy Prosecuting Attorney, Jack Matsukawa told me, no scared lose. If you never lose, if you learn something along the way. And with that, I'd like to leave you all with four tips to success. Number one, work hard. Nothing comes easy. My grandfather, Tony Amaral, was one of the most influential people in my life. He was a plumber and a sheet metal worker by trade. He stressed the importance of honesty, compassion, and most importantly, hard work. I worked with him from a young age, learning plumbing, working on the holidays, weekends. In fact, I remember helping him install water, water heaters and repair toilets in between college classes and during my breaks in law school. You don't have to be the smartest person. I'd be lying to you today if I told you I thought I was the smartest person. I'm not. But I can promise you that I pride myself in being the hardest worker. Don't be afraid to put in more time, effort, and energy than the next person. Set yourself apart from the rest. Number two, build good relationships. A wise man once told me, your success tomorrow is built upon by the relationships you build and make today. Healthy relationships involve honesty, trust, respect, and open communication and they take effort and compromise from both sides. Surround yourself with good people who share in similar goals, aspirations, and desires, like your classmates, your family, your friends. Continue to surround yourself with good people like that. They will help you succeed, and in turn, you will help motivate them to succeed as well. Number three, service to community. Service to community is one of the eight core you challenge components. Remember, we are all a product of our upbringing. Never forget where you came from. Your roots are important. Your community helps shape the person you are today. Continue to give back to your community and help the next generation succeed too. I went to law school with the intention to come back to my community and help make it a better place. As a result, I wake up every morning excited, happy to go to work. Don't expect recognition for public service. In fact, oftentimes there's more criticism than praises. But knowing in your heart that you make a difference and you're doing things for the right reason makes it all worth the while. And lastly, number four, never give up. Perseverance is important. Don't quit, just do it. Believe me, I know what it's like to stand in the face of adversity. Back in December of 2019, I was a deputy prosecutor in Hilo. I was 33 years old and I was handling some pretty cases, some, some pretty serious cases. I enjoyed my work, I was busy, it was rewarding. I felt like I made a difference. That month, I learned that our boss, now Mayor Roth, had announced that he was gonna run for mayor. I remember my friends, my coworkers, and others telling me, bro, what are we gonna do? What's gonna happen to the office? What are we gonna do? Will you run for prosecutor? And I was like, me, me, I'm not a politician. I'm a prosecutor. I don't know anything about that. I thought about it, prayed about it, talked to my friends, spoke to my family, my coworkers, and my family, and my, finally, I spoke to my wife. Because we all know, really, she's the one gonna make the decisions, you know what I mean? In the end, I chose to do it. I remember a lot of people thinking that the odds were stacked up against me. I was young, part Hawaiian, I grew up in Puna, I never ran for political office before, I definitely didn't have some big war chest of campaign funds, 
to fuel my campaign. But what I did have was the drive to never give up. And I got that from my friends and family who supported me. Over the next couple of months, I remember calling up my friend and mentor, Uncle Billy Kinoy, for advice several times. During one phone call, he told me, don't let others let you tell you you can't do it. You can. And with that, he followed up with his famous Billy Kinoy line, there's no such thing as no can. Always can. I remember calling him up when I needed a little motivation in the last few weeks, right before the election. And he told me, remember, brother, this is our community. You need to do what you can to protect it. This is our home. A couple months later, everything came full circle. And Uncle Billy gave the keynote speech at my inauguration. I truly cherish his advice and his counsel, and I miss him dearly. In closing, I leave you all with this. After the election, my mom told me that I need to embrace every small win and focus on positive progress. She gifted me a tapestry artwork that she had framed once, and she hung it in her own office throughout her years working for the county. She felt that that would serve as a good reminder for me when I had to make a tough decision. And I wanna share the message with all of you today. It displays one Olelo Hawaii word that says it all. Kina ole, which means doing the right thing in the right way, at the right time, in the right place, to the right person, for the right reason, with the right feeling, the first time. Although its meaning seems long, it can be broken down, and it means something very, very simple. With every challenge in life, no matter how big, or how small, you don't need to have all your steps planned or everything all laid out in front of you. All you need to do is focus on the next thing, doing the next thing the right way. And if you do that, you will always succeed. Congratulations, Class 24, Hawaii National Guard Youth Challenge Academy. You did it, you deserve it, be proud. This is your moment, mahalo.
Administration of Justice at Hawaii Community College, Palama Nui Campus, Cadet Raimana Akau. One more mouth. Sorry about that. Last one, I promise. 
recipient of the Governor's Distinguished Cadet Award exemplifies all the values and principles of the eight core components set forth by the National Guard Program and the Hawaii National Guard New Challenge Academy. A leader, a loyal follower, a responsible citizen equipped with the heart to serve the community at the highest of standards. A model cadet, the, reci the recipient of the Governor's Distinguished Cadet Award is Cadet Joseph Acune the Third. <laughs> General, General Hara, Major General Hara, in the state of Hawaii, I accept this class, 24, as graduates of the U Challenge Academy. We all look forward to witnessing the amazing things you will do with your education and the foundation you have received here at U Challenge. Mahalo. Alicia Park. 
for pushing through all the hard times, standing firm emotionally and physically. Now I feel it's only right to pay our respect to all the staff for their dedication in helping us academically reach our goals, teaching us ways to cope with stress and finding health alternatives. We can't forget about our cadres, the ones we wake up to and drag out to, for mentally and physically pushing us to our limits to make us realize we have way more potential than we ever would have had. You all helped play a part in our success, and we couldn't be more grateful for each and every one of you. From the worst of days to the best of days, I would like to thank all of you who took the time out of their day to keep in contact with their cadets and provide the motivation and support that kept them dr their drive going. You guys all made our time here a very memorable experience and a once-in-a-lifetime journey. Class 2-4, don't forget that you're capable of doing anything that you put your mind to. Don't let anyone get in the way of your success. Now like, let's get this show on the road. Thank you.